want uh, the bulb to act as an electric field in the global pharmacy. And in this uh, discussion, uh, we will be discussing about Staphylococcal species and their associated diseases. Staphylococcal is a genre in which almost there are 40 bacteria, but we will only be focusing on uh, three bacteria. The first one is Staphylococcus aureus and it's also known as Staph aureus. It is bacteria number one. The second bacteria is Staphylococcus epidermidis and Third bacteria is Staphylococcus saprophyticus, S A P R O P H Y T I C U S, saprophyticus. So, this is the bacteria number two, Staphylococcus epidermidis. And bacteria number three is Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Okay. Uh, Staphylococcus are basically Gram positive foci, gram positive foci, these are three bacteria or gram positive foci. We will come towards the Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is uh, normally reside in the upper respiratory tract in majority of the cases. But it is also present in the lower respiratory tract as well. And uh, it is also present in the skin as not Now come towards the diseases uh, that are associated with the Staphylococcus aureus. The first disease is abscesses. Uh, abscesses is uh, uh, Pimple like or pustule like uh, structure which is filled by pus. It is called abscess. The second disease is upper respiratory tract infections. In the upper respiratory tract infection, the individual may suffer from sinusitis, laryngitis, pharyngitis, epiglottitis, etc. Okay. Uh, the next disease is cellulitis. Cellulitis is the skin oriented disease. Skin, skin oriented disease in which uh, the inner layer of the skin is dis disturbed and uh, it is associated with the redness in different parts of the body. The next uh, disease is scaled skin syndrome. Uh, it is some sort of skin disease in which the any part of the skin becomes hard. This is called scale skin syndrome. The next disease is toxic shock syndrome. The toxic shock syndrome uh, is a disease which is associated by the release of uh, toxins from Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, okay, and uh, the symptoms of toxic syndrome are fever, pain, and peeling of skin. And most important uh, symptom of toxic shock syndrome is low blood pressure or hypotension. Hypo hypotension. Okay, now come to the uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia is, uh, is also caused by staph aureus, the meningitis. Meningitis means the infection of 
three layers of the skin that is pure matter, pia matter, and arachnoid matter. Next disease is sepsis, meaning blood infection. Endocarditis. Endocarditis is basically the infection of infection. Or it is caused by staphylococcus. It is not only caused by uh, staphylococcus, but there are many other bacteria uh, those can cause endocarditis. The next disease is osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is the bone infection. Bone infection. One of the disease caused by staphylococcus. So, abscess formation, uh, upper respiratory tract infection, cellulitis, scaled skin syndrome, toxic shock syndrome, pneumonia, meningitis, sepsis, endocarditis, and osteomyelitis are the uh, diseases which are mainly associated by the uh, staphylococcus aureus or staph aureus. Now come to the second material that is Staphylococcus epidermidis. Staphylococcus epidermidis is uh, more uh, in majority of the cases is the resident of the human uh, as microbial flora. It is associated with hospital based infection and the diseases caused by this. Staphylococcus epidermidis are catheter associated infection. As we know, uh, in the hospital, there are uh, different uh, procedures in which catheters are used. Through those catheters, this Staphylococcus epidermidis may invade the uh, human uh, machinery and may cause infection. Next, uh, Infection or the disease associated with the Staphylococcus is prosthetic infection. Prosthetic infection means uh, the infection of the different parts of the body in which foreign or artificial parts uh, of the body are made by plastic or any other material like iron as far as well. So uh, Staphylococcus epidermidis may uh, grow on those prosthetic uh, parts like prosthetic wells, prosthetic hand, prosthetic leg as far as well. The next uh, infection that is associated by the Staphylococcus epidermidis is endocarditis, just like Staphylococcus aureus. And it is also for it is also can cause uh, acne vulgaris. Not uh, in normal cases, Staphylococcus is not the resident of human uh, parts of the body. It is non-pathogenic. Uh, In natural cases, but Staphylococcus epidermidis causes acne vulgaris in abnormal lanes when there is any abnormality of the skin. If there is no abnormality associated with the skin, Staphylococcus epidermidis will not be able to cause acne vulgaris. Okay, and this uh, acne vulgaris is mainly caused by. Propioni bacteria. Pro, pro, uh, so when propioni pro bacteria is there, which is main cause the origin of active virus. Is going to cause the 
lipids through five changes in the skin. This cephalococcus epidermidis in this abnormal lesion or abnormal or pathological condition, it becomes uh, active or it becomes more uh, lethal uh, to cause acclimations. So these are the uh, uh, infection associated with the staphylococcus epidermidis. Now we have the staphylococcus saprophyticus. Staphylococcus saprophyticus mainly present in the female urinary tract. Female The diseases which is caused by uh, this staphylococcus saprophyticus are urinary tract infections. Uh, Major, in majority of the cases in females. In females. It is said that it is second most cause of urinary tract infection of the E. coli because as we know, E. coli is one of the most notorious bacteria uh, which causes 90% of the urinary tract infection. And on the second number, Staphylococcus saprophyticus it plays a score. And in 10 to 20% females of the age 17 to 27 years. This saprophyticus, staphylococcus saprophyticus, saprophyticus can uh, cause urinary tract infection. Down to 20% females with the age of 70 to 20, 17 to 27 years. So uh, these are the uh, diseases associated by the staphylococcus species. Uh, main three species of this genre are staphylococcus aureus, staphylococcus epidermidis, and staphylococcus saprophyticus. I uh, hope so you enjoyed this lecture. Please do me a favor uh, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your attention.